Hi everyone, uh, I'm Brendan Sito. I am a junior at Amherst College. Um, what I've made is a simple statistical calculator. So essentially what it does is it will uh, allow you to input your own data. Um, it will select the appropriate test or appropriate graphic um, to go along with whatever variables you select and it will run whatever test or create whatever graph that you need. So I'm starting with this quote by Edwards Deming, which is, in God we trust, all others must bring data. So um, as everyone knows, there is a lot of data um, kind of in the world right now, um, and everyone kind of would benefit from being able to analyze it and being able to utilize it in whatever they're trying to do. You know, whether they're students, who only have a semester or two of statistics or they're trying to get real jobs and or internships in the outside world, if you're a community-based researcher or industry worker um, who hasn't had a lot of formal training in statistics or data science but is entrapped with something that requires data um, and they don't really have any prior experience, or if you're just a Monday morning armchair quarterback trying to find a glimmer of hope for your team's loss last week. You know, anyone can use data. There's a variety of things you can do with it. Everyone needs it. But not everyone has the time, skills, or tools to perform analytics. Um, again, I mean, you know, you can download R if you want. That's free. But it is qu quite difficult for your average person with no computer science background or who doesn't, re who don't really have the time to be continuously using it to be proficient and be able to just pick up anything that they need and get it done. So we created this app to kind of help people um, with those kind of things. So what you can do is you can hit this choose data file and read in whatever kind of data set you have, whatever it may be. Um, so I'm going to start with the, just this test.csv. So immediately my data set pops up. I can see all my variables. I can see that I have 534 uh, rows. Uh, and then I can sort if I want. I can show more or less rows. And then what I can do is I can select whatever variables I want. So say I want to look at the relationship between uh, so race and wage. Uh, I can do that. And then say, well, I want to look at race, but or I want to look at wage, but only a certain amount of people, I can filter on that and do what I want to do there. I can also create a new variable. So say I want to look at years of education, but I don't really care about their high school. So I'm going to subtract 12 and post, I'm going to call it post high school. That's just going to be my variable name. What's going to happen? is it's going to pop up here. So as you can see, I've created a new variable, post high school. This person did less than two years. Um, and then I can now use that post high school variable in any of my analyses if I choose um, see fit. So I'm going to select race and wage. And what this is going to do is it's going to um, select the appropriate this is called test for me to use based on my variables and the kind of variables that I designate. So it can be either a categorical or continuous variable depending on what your data is. So this has selected a t-test for me. That is the appropriate test. It um, very, I mean, so it, there is a little bit of guesswork, you know. Um, the same test would run if I added race and wage as two x variables and no y variables, but that's fine. This is right. Then it can do some simple assumption checking. Um, I can look at equal variance, passes. Um, I ran a Fisher's F test, which you can read in the description up here. Um, also, I'm going to have a little histogram for normality. Um, I give a little bit of instructions for you know what to look for, things like that. Um, yeah, and so now that they've passed, you can look at model summary and the results, and you can see that we can be 95% confident that the difference in the means is significant. Um, you can also click on the graph, and you can select from a variety of options. Let's say I want to look at bar plot. I want to see my confidence intervals. 
um, and you basically can just select whatever is most applicable. Say you really, I don't really care about um, the means, I just want to look at what is the distribution of race. Well, I can do that. Um, I can also put in a little title, race distribution, and that will pop up. And if I really enjoy this graph and I want to use it in other things, I can download it as a PDF, and it will pop up right here. Great. So that's all well and good. Um, but, I mean, why um, do we need this? Um, you know, kind of what's the research aspect of this um, presentation? Well, what we did is we interviewed about 40 people, um, three different types. We have students, uh, we have community researchers, and we have people who work in NGOs or other nonprofits or community organizations. So we interviewed students, um, some people who work in NGOs, and some community researchers. And so we have a variety of people, 40 people, and we kind of ask them, um, how old are you? How much data do you use in your job? How much confidence do you have using data? Um, do you have two or more years of education? And a variety of other variables that I just didn't include in the sample data set. So, as you would expect, um, the people who use data in their job more often um, are, do tend to be more confident in their um, usage of data. Uh, we uh, took both of these to be on a five-point scale. And so we can just show a little XY plot. Um, and we can do whatever test we want to do on that. Um, so yeah, basically, we, we just really want to show people that um, we wanted to provide a way for people who don't aren't necessarily professional statisticians to do um, statistics in real life. Um, and that was the goal of this project. Um, that's the kind of question we're trying to answer. Um, and that's what we hope we've accomplished. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of questions about our methods and um, things like that. Um, so feel free to um, ask them in the comments if that's what you're interested in. Thanks.